What's going on guys? Today we have a game changing video. We're going to show you what baits to pair with what rods. Some information I wish I knew when I first started fishing. Let's go. So straight away y'all, one of my biggest questions when I first got started was what baits to use with what rods. And frankly, it was actually one of the most confusing things to me because you would assume you got a fishing rod, you got a bait, you're good to go. And in many cases you are, but there are rods suited and techniques that require certain rods. So what I found over the last few years of fishing is that different lengths of rods are going to work best for certain baits. Different ratings as far as heavy, medium, heavy, uh, medium is going to be best for certain baits certain tips with a little bit more give, they call it the soft or slower tips, kind of like slower to rebound, or fast tips, right? Just real stiff are required for certain baits. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you straight away, just for all types of baits across the board, general bass fishing, if you only had one rod in your arsenal, it's gonna be something like a seven foot medium heavy fast action rod. Now Guggen Squad sells the go-to rod, which is exactly that, but then also we have a few others in the lineup, right? We have their muscle rod, a little bit beefier. We've got their twitch rod, made for baits that really should be worked with the rod movement rather than the reel. We also have things like the finesse, the reaction, and I want to tell you about those different rods. So what Guggen Squad has just launched is different boxes with baits inside catered to each rod for those specific techniques, literally simplifying bass fishing for you guys. And also for someone like myself, when I first started, it's a dream come true for folks who are just getting into the sport. But let's face it, I didn't even have like a dedicated crankbait rod until like two years in. I mean, I, I could have used this information much sooner, right? So. Let me open a couple of these boxes. I've got a couple different options in front of me. This first one over here is the muscle box. So perfect. I love casting out big lures that require heavy hook sets on something like a 7.5 extra fast, which is exactly what we have here. This is the Guggen Squad muscle rod built for the heavy stuff, right? So inside of the Guggen Squad catch smart box geared for the muscle rod are baits that are going to work best with this muscle rod. So let me go ahead and break it down. This box contains lures that you need to set the hook hard on and provide that extra oomph. Jigs with brush guards, Texas rigged plastics, half ounce or over. Frogs and other hefty baits require you to flex on fish. No exception, absolutely true. So what they're saying is if you have a muscle rod, check this box out and it's got everything you need to fish year round. Let's give you the quick run through. In this box is the filthy frog, the thick jig, the juicy jig, hammer, hooks. What else have we got in here? The pop and filthy frog and bandito bugs. You are set. Now big bass are going to hit any one of these lures right here. A Texas rig, you can really get down into the thickest cover. You can text expose that hook and you can get places where other baits cannot and you can capture those finicky fish. So that is everything in the muscle box and literally covers everything that this rod was meant to throw. So if you're a new angler and you're looking to grab your first Guggen Squad rod, you know exactly what baits to pair with it. Let me toss these back in the box now and I've got something exciting. We're going to show you the second box and these baits are going to work entirely different. The rod we're about to talk about next is in a complete different category and the baits are as well. And you literally don't have to worry about a thing except for grabbing the rod and grabbing the box of baits to pair with it thanks to this new Catch Smart system. Next up guys, I have in front of me the Guggen Squad Twitch Rod. A little bit shorter, softer or slower tip. When I first started, if I picked up a rod like this, I wouldn't know what the best baits are to throw on it. Like, okay, it seems a little bit more, seems a little bit more flimsy and not as stiff. What do I do with this, right? This answers all your questions. So when I first got started in bass fishing, I think I looked up a video that also recommended something like a seven foot medium heavy fast action rod for all purpose use. Well, what happens when I grab a rod like this? This is a 6'9 medium with a moderate tip. So a completely different rod for a completely different style of fishing. But the baits you'll throw on this rod are not the type of baits you want to throw on something like the muscle rod, for instance. So we're now going to run through the second box and tell you exactly how to work these. This is the Twitch Catch Smart Bundle. All right, lures that are most effective when moved with rod tip movement often have treble hooks, erratic slashing or popping action, generally smaller lures. So here we go, let's rattle them off and then we're gonna go ahead and showcase them for you guys. The blooper, this is a topwater bait. The hound, another great topwater. The scout, a jerk bait. Oh, we gotta talk about all these. 
Then you have a mini banger. Okay, so a lot of variety in this box, and I'll tell you why you might throw a crankbait on this rod. And then you also have the Junior Scout, just a smaller version of the Guggen Squad jerkbait. There's also where to fish twitch lures. And then also if you have the Guggen Squad go-to rod, their finesse rod, or their reaction rod, there's boxes for all of them. I just didn't want to take up too much of your time. I have two great examples here, but know that there's a box catered to every different rod the Guggen Squad offers. So you might be wondering, well, I could just throw the jerkbait on the muscle rod or another rod. Well, it's not going to work out quite as well. This guy's a little bit shorter. It allows you to point the rod tip down closer to the water as you're working the bait. With something like the muscle rod, your rod isn't going to be facing the water as much as it's going to be facing out it doesn't allow you to work those baits as effectively. Also, this one's got that slower tip. So if something were to grab hold of this jerk bait, because that rod tip has got a little bit more give in it, it's gonna make sure it keeps that line tight no matter what the bass are doing. You're gonna lose less fish when you're fishing something like a jerk bait on this style rod. What's next? We have a mini banger. So a lighter crank bait. You might be thinking, well, I thought they sell a reaction rod which works best with crankbaits. Yes, but this guy right here has got a little bit more fling with that softer action and it's gonna help you get these lighter baits out there. What happens is when you've got a longer, beefier rod and you're throwing lighter baits, you don't have as much pinpoint accuracy and it's easy to almost get more distance on a shorter rod, something like this twitch rod, with these lighter crankbaits. Also, this guy is a one to four foot diver, so he's gonna act a little bit different than your larger crankbaits you'll be throwing on that reaction rod that really require a little bit more strength and are diving and creating some tension on that rod. So something like the shallow diving mini banger is absolutely perfect for the twitch rod. And this right here is one of my first ever confidence baits. When I started fishing, I threw a shallow diving sexy shad colored crankbait and it caught me so many fish. I always had one tied on. And I mean, I always had one tied on. But let's say you're trying to work something heavier along the bottom. You're gonna have so much give in the rod tip. It won't feel sensitive. You're not gonna be able to tell what you're working over. And then if a fish hits, you gotta slam that hook set because this just doesn't have the same length as that muscle rod as well as that faster tip to get the job done. That's exactly why these boxes have come out and have simplified things for us fishermen. So guys, I just wanted to... I've got a lot more fishing videos coming your way soon, but I had to break this out because it is brand new to the market. Again, at GookenSquad.com, use code Weston for 10% off any of the Catch Smart bundles that are going to pair with the right rod for the occasion. I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit more of a tip and tutorial video. If you did enjoy this and you want to see me break down the lures in these other boxes, go ahead and drop a like. If we can get this video to 1,000 likes, I will cover the go-to box, the reaction box, the finesse box, whatever you want to see more of, you let me know down in the comments section. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, get ready to hit the water tomorrow morning. I hope you guys have an awesome day and we'll catch you on the next episode.